Hello students, today we are going to continue with the tux paint but we will explore the stamp tool today. As you know in the stamp tool few stamps are already available in the tux paint and few that we need to install. So we are going to create few scenes using different stamps. So today we are going to make a beautiful sea scene using the stamp tool. So let's start. First of all, click on this new button. After this, you will see many different colors. I'm going to choose this light blue color and click on open. As you can see, a blue paper appear on my canvas. It appears as a sky. So now using paint tool and black color, I'm going to draw a wavy line in this way in this and it looks like the water now we have to fill the dark blue color in this so let's choose the dark blue color but in the color panel as you can see the dark blue color is not available so we are going to choose this more colors and from here we can choose the dark blue shade and then using this fill tool we can fill it in the water after this I'm going to use my stamp tool. In the stamp tool, you can see many different categories of the stamps are available in the sub tool box. So using these two selector buttons from left arrow and right arrow, you can see the different categories. So let's see. So now I want a boat. So I'm going to see all the subcategories of the stamps and then I'm going to choose the board from there. So in this vehicle category you can see there are many different boards. So you can choose the any board of your choice. I'm going to choose this one. But you can see the size of this is very less. So I want to increase the size. So how can I do that using this slope bar? If you are going to increase the slopes in this slope bar, the increase of the stamp is also increased. So by after increasing the size, you have to paste your stamp in this way. After pasting the stamp of the boat, now I want the penguin. So let's move again. And here are many different penguins. So I'm going to choose this and then paste it in the boat. After that, let's draw a sun in the sky. In the planet category, you can find the sun. After choosing this, you can adjust the size from the slope bar like this and then paste it in the sky. It's giving the real effect of the sun. After this, let's draw some birds. So I'm going to choose the birds who are flying. So I choose this bird and paste it in the sky. Be careful about the size of the stem. Like this. After drawing few birds in the sky, we are going to draw few water animals like the fishes in the water you can also create a mirror effect for the fish as you can see the face of my fish is on the right side but i can also choose change it to the left side how can i do this let's undo this and then click on this mirror button this mirror option will flip the stem horizontally and now you can see the difference now the face of the fish is on the left side. But this fish is too big in size. So let's reduce its size and paste it again. In the similar way I am going to draw a few more fishes. Like this. After this I am going to draw a beautiful rainbow. And from where we can draw our real rainbow? Yes. From the magic tool. From the magic tool, choose the option real rainbow. 
here it is so click on this drag it and then drop it when you are done with it and then you can see a beautiful rainbow in the sky so my sea scene is ready now it's your turn to draw your sea scenes